So this is a big game Saturday. Huge. Yeah. I'm very excited for our seniors and uh, I think our whole team is really eager to hopefully send them out on a, a winning note and um, have a great game for their last experience in Mott Gym. Mott Athletic Center. Sorry. <laughs> Does this have the potential to be a record breaker as far as attendance? I sure hope so. I think that we've got a number of good players, obviously, that uh, are worthy of people's viewing and, and coming to the game and supporting them. Uh, but certainly, any time you play Santa Barbara, I think it's always worth the price of admission to come in and, and see that kind of a battle. And uh, you know, we're hoping that we get a great crowd. Anything you'd like to see in the last game of the regular season before you go to the tournament? Well, we're trying to build, obviously. we've came off of uh, the road where we played three of four halves brilliantly and one half uh, far below that. So we're hoping that we are able to put two halves together and have some momentum going into the tournament. Um, what, uh, I guess what, is, what, is, what has surprised you the most at this point of the season? Well, I know that our our team has been able to withstand, I think, a lot of um, growth. And I expected that. I expected there to be a lot of teaching going on to see our seniors take hold of opportunities to help guide uh, our underclassmen, which is a very large group. I think that they've done a really good job with that. So it's been, I guess, from a surprise standpoint, how well we've come together as a unit and how quickly we've done that. Normally it would take probably a good year or two to assimilate some of the freshmen into what we're doing systematically. And uh, again, I think that the leadership from our seniors and coaching staff members that are really spending a lot of time with our young players has been instrumental in our improvement. Um, going into this tournament, is there anybody that, that, you know, that, you, that, you, that you match up well with or that, you, that you'd like to hopefully, you know, if you get the two seed, is, is that going to make a big difference for you guys matchup wise with a certain team? Well, I certainly feel like every single team in the conference can beat us, and I feel like we can beat every team in the conference. I don't know that there's a particular team I want. Uh, I think if you ask the team members that, there's probably some teams they would rather avoid than, than others. Uh, you know, If we are playing well, I think that we have the potential to uh, perform well and win the title. If we have a half or even a five minute performance that's um, lackluster, I think we're in danger of not having a good tournament run. So it's going to be important for us to just try to focus on this possession right here that's right in front of us. And if we'll do that and just take one possession at a time, I think we're going to be okay. Do you think at this point in the season you guys are, are going in, you know, uh, kind of charging in the way you want to, going into the postseason, you know, on the up and up? Again, I thought that our Riverside game, our Davis game, and one half of our Irvine game were some of the best defensive uh, performances that I've seen from our team this season. That gives me hope and encouragement that if we'll continue on that path and have that kind of determination and team play and have each other's backs, that we can do anything. Uh, so I'm fired up about the opportunity. I think you know, we're, we're peaking at the right time. So I am excited about our team. Is there anything in particular that you guys are working towards this week for the Santa Barbara game? Well, we're very aware of how athletic they are and quick, and uh, we do know that they have a lot of pressure, full court pressures that they implement. So we've been working uh, the last couple of days on trying to go with different types of press breakers so that we can handle their pressure uh, effectively and with great poise. Are you worried about a Santa Barbara team that, that, that comes into this game kind of with nothing to lose against a rival? Just uh, that, that, that can be a scary position to be at. I'm always worried about Santa Barbara. I don't <laughs> care uh, what their record is. I, obviously, the rivalry is there. It may not feel that same way for the players that um, haven't been through the history that I've been through with Santa Barbara. But uh, it, it's always a, a big game for me to go against those uh, gauchos. So I know that I think our, our team's going to be ready for it. I don't think that they're, um, I think they're really focused on trying to do well and perform well. 
not just for coming up with a win and preparing themselves for the tournament, but also because it's the Gauchos. Uh, I, I think that there's still some history there that they want to perform well. Does this team bring, or will they bring, some additional confidence into the Big West tournament, considering that I think you've beaten pretty much every team in the, in the league, and especially the teams at the top. You beat in Hawaii, you won at Long Beach, you won at Davis. Does that give you guys confidence? Oh, absolutely. I think that if you've proven yourself that you're capable of beating them, it only puts some good energy into you as far as can we do it? Absolutely, we can do it. We've already done it. So now how do we do it? How do we repeat that endeavor? And, you know, that's for the coaches to try to make sure that that game plan is intact. And if they end up coming with a different kind of approach and trying to disrupt something that you did successfully well the last time, then uh, being able to make some changes on the spot is kind of our job as coaches. But obviously, the players have to implement it as well. Um, but I do think there our team's very coachable and uh, has a real passion. And they do love each other. That, those are all bonuses for us. Final question I got. Just. Uh Talk about the senior class. I know you got pretty emotional last year. It's a pretty unique senior class in a lot of ways, and, and they did a whole lot for this for this university. They did. I mean, if you look at uh, Kristen Ale, somebody who came in and really had to do juryman kind of work. She was always kind of the backup because you had uh, Irvin running the point, and then we switched Elegato, who really is kind of a more of a point guard, over to the two guards. So her minutes were somewhat limited, and she played a backup role for three years. And then this year, having to step into a role, and, and she's shown tremendous leadership, her ability to get the group together and to have some good poise. She's kind of our, our player that kind of settles the masses and uh, keeps them in check. Like, OK, this is what we need to do. Calm down. Everything's going to be OK. So to see her grow into that position and uh, move our team forward, I think, is a testament to her leadership skills. Uh, Taryn Garza is somebody who is reigning Big West Hustle Player of the Year and certainly is up for that award again this year. I don't know if she'll get it, but that kind of energy and effort that she puts in every single day in practice, every day in, in competition, she is just a gutsy kid. And anybody would love to have her on their squad because she's the toughest nose uh, player probably in the league. She is just grit. Uh, blue collar all the way. And then certainly somebody as talented as Ariana Elegato, who's currently number three on the career, Cal Poly's career all-time scoring list. She's 12 assists away from um, besting Jonay Irvin in the assist category for her careers. And you know Donovan can share with you all the other records that she holds. But she feasibly could hold seven records uh, by the time she graduates from Cal Poly, which is just a remarkable career. One of the most entertaining players I've ever coached, and certainly a, a joy uh, as a person as well. Thank you, Faith. Thank you. Sure.